Good evening, I'm Sean Yao and this is One News Now. The lawyer of detained peasant leader Amanda Echanis is calling on authorities to stop harassing her client. Attorney Luz Perez says intelligence officers have been interrogating Echanis while investigative proceedings are still ongoing. Amanda is the daughter of slain Anakpawis leader Randy Echanis, who was arrested last week for illegal possession of firearms and explosives. She is currently detained at the police facility in Tugigarao City in Cagayan, along with her month-old infant son. On Thursday, Malacanang called on the DSWD to ensure the welfare of Echanis' baby. The local government of Quezon City is set to roll out its bus augmentation program on Monday, December 7. Under an agreement with the LTFRB, buses will be allowed to pass through eight different routes across the city. The LGU is reminding the public that buses will, be, will, will only be stopping at designated pick-up and drop-off points along the routes. The program will be open to the public for its initial run, but passengers will eventually need to secure a Q-Citizen ID card. In the PBA, Barangay Ginebra San Miguel and TNT Tropangiga are battling it out in the pivotal Game 4 of the 2020 PBA Bubble Finals. It was a tightly contested battle in the first half, with Ginebra and TNT exchanging blows. Recall that Ginebra is looking to bounce back after a disappointing loss in Game 3. Meanwhile, TNT is aiming to continue their strong run without Bobby Ray Parks Jr., who is still nursing a strained left calf muscle. Hinebra is ahead 49 to 39 at the half. For more updates, visit News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World online. Visit our website, oneuse.ph, for more in depth analysis. You can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account at www.signalplay.com and stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Sean Yao, and we are One News.